Hey guys, today I got another package and this is another fake Beyblade X replica Beyblade but instead of just copying Beyblade X and make money out of it this brand actually took it to a completely different level so let's look at it uh, let's see what we got got a red wizard arrow we got a fully black transort matte black we got a blue night shoot and finally, we got a gold Hellsai. Oh, this one is actually the uh, 1000 Bay Point version. They really took the color to the next level. I mean, the gold one is like uh, a Karatomi design, but the red, blue, and black one, like, look at this. This is crazy. So let's look at them one by one. All right, first up, we got the matte black Dren Sword. Okay, this is hella cool, not gonna lie, matte black Beyblade, this is super duper cool. It also feels very heavy. So, here's the Beyblade. Yeah, they actually feel kind of similar. Next up, we got a 3-80. The paint job on the Ratchet is kind of wack. Huh? Last but not least, we got the flat bit. Pretty cool black color, not gonna lie. It does have a screw inside, if you can see it. So there is some weight in it. It's not as bad as MQ brand. Uh, oh, this is, yeah. This burst resistance is kind of trash, huh? Wonder if it's because of the bits or the, let's, let's do the Takara Tommy bit. Yeah, oh, is it the Ratchet that's trash? Yeah, they just have a bad ratchet. Yeah, but black, Dren Sword, Gold Hellsai. We already unboxed the one from MQ brand. Um, but that one, I believe it came with a 4 80 and uh, Bob it. This one does come with tapered this time. And yeah. Also very trashy. Uh, burst resistance and uh, probably the ratchet again, but this time they got the black and yellow version in the middle right although it doesn't say Beyblade X so that's a little bit sad, but still pretty cool The gold bit is very beautiful wizard arrow Again, these are all really beautiful like look at this they have even have a blue uh like the inside face bolt part is blue but the blade is red like the design the color is actually there's a little bit consideration in it which I think it's really cool like even the face bolt the red is really beautiful 4-80 fully red ratchet this is beautiful this is beautiful and a uh, needle bit I think this one comes with ball actually for wizard arrow this one is a it's still kind of trash, but red wizard arrow, like Jesus Christ, look at that. This is beautiful. Last but not least, we got a all blue night shield, which is still really cool. Like, look at the color. It has a gold one in the middle, but then the face bolt is also recolored. This is really, really cool. 3 80. That's the right ratchet. And needle, that's the right bit as well. This is a full correct combo and it's really beautiful it's like prize bay like special colored bay you can grab from like burst series maybe like you get the bay and there's like one to like a 70 percent chance you get a special colored one this is what it feels like this feels really nice so yeah without like further ado let's do some battle i'm pretty sure burst resistance is gonna be trash on these but with that aside let's see how they do all right, let's try to shoot them to see if they perform as the normal ones. Go shoot. Yeah, it looks pretty legit. Does the same job. Like, this would be a normal trend sword. Go shoot. So, yeah, it, it feels pretty on par. Uh, let's try... Hellside. All right, just want to do a quick battle to see if there's like obvious difference in them. Definitely wrong ratchet and like it seems to be able to burst a little bit better. 
Uh, I mean worse, but we'll see how it goes. Go. Where's the black one? Dude, the black one is really so damn cool. Like, it's really so cool. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think paint peeled off yet. I peeled off a little bit, but oh, this is so cool. Wanna do the red wizard arrow too? Versus the real wizard arrow with the ball bit. Go shoot. Dude, the red wizard arrow is so cool. Ooh. Dude, I can't even imagine if Takara Tommy, can't even imagine if Tommy released something like this color. Like there's Kobo Drake, and then there's also I don't even remember Phoenix Wing. That's like colored, but this matte shiny color. This is cool as hell. Let's do the hell side, cause why not? Oh. Well, might as well go shoot. They are both the same combo technically. But damn, the blue is really so nice. It reminds me a lot of the uh, the blue burn Phoenix from Beyblade Metal Fusion, the one with 90 XF. Yeah, these definitely are more prone to bursting, but uh, that's not a problem because just buy them for the look. How do you guys think about these SB brand Beyblades? Definitely let us know in the comment section below how you guys think about it. Like just look wise, they are 11 out of 10 to me, especially the red wizard arrow and the full black trans sword. Man, this is crazy. But yeah, hope you guys like this little quick unboxing review video. This brand really stood on top of all the replica fake Beyblade manufacturer like MQ brand. Flame brand that are just strictly copying this is really copying with their own touch on top and I dig it this is cool as hell although burst resistance is trash we can just use other ratchet on it but yeah hope you guys like the video and see you guys next time peace